Headline News, the Get to the Point News Network, powered by CNN. The future is brighter for some South African students because of solar power. Femi Oke explains why. In the hills of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa, a rural school has become famous for its power, solar power. In a country where around 16,000 schools operate without electricity, the students of Miega High School have much to celebrate. Three years ago, morale at the school was low. There were few learning resources and no electricity. Today, with the addition of a little power, the future is looking bright. Now, it's easy for us to learn more. And we are getting the information in the computers using the solar energy. The transformation is due largely to the work of the Solar Electric Light Fund. It's a charitable organization whose mission is to light the world without polluting it. They use solar electric systems that convert sunlight directly into electricity. The electricity is stored in a battery which is charged during the day. Even when the weather is overcast, power can be stored for several days. The system can run anything from lights to the school's new television and photocopier. But by far the most popular use of the solar power is to drive the computer center. The students are delighted to be online and the teachers realize that having access to the internet will have a huge impact on the children's education. With a person who is computer literate, nowadays gets a preference in uh, job placements. But uh, in the long term, people must know that this is the information age and as such the skills that are learning now will be used not only in the immediate uh, environment at schools but also outside the world. In fact this is a life skill. The school is now so well known that students from far afield are eager to enroll and the local community is looking up to the school to teach them computer skills too. For these latest recruits to the internet world the forecast is most certainly sunny. I just want to show you one quick thing before I go. This is an essay from one of the youngsters, Samantha, at the school. She had no idea what the solar panels could do when they first arrived. And then she said, after a few months, we had a video projector. And that was the beginning of a new school experience. The following equipment arrived, 20 computers, two television sets, and a video machine, plus the connection to the internet. Isn't it amazing what a little bit of sunshine can do, Jim?